guys. We've been taking a look at God's incredible power shown through events that happened that seemed impossible. They are called miracles. A miracle is when God's power makes something happen that would be impossible without it. Did you know that God created us to have feelings? It's part of the way that we are designed. We're going to take a look at some video clips, and as you watch, think about what people in the videos are feeling. Here's the first one. So what do you think that boy was feeling? Maybe joy or happiness? Well, how about this one? Wow, she was surprised by something she saw. Did you recognize that feeling? Here's another one. Oh man, that little guy is really sad. I love how the mom is trying to comfort him though. She can tell he's feeling bad and she wants to do something to help. Let's do one more. That man has no home. He sleeps outside on the hard ground. Most likely he doesn't have a way to make money to buy the things he needs like food. He probably feels lonely and very sad, but let's flip this one around. What did you feel when you were watching that video? Did you feel like you wanted to help the man? Maybe bring him a hot meal or a new shirt or a blanket? If so, you are probably feeling something called compassion. Compassion is feeling so strongly about what someone else is going through that you want to take action to help them. We saw that a little with a mom who is comforting her child, and we are going to see that in a big way today as we look at when Jesus took compassion on thousands of people at the same time. He performed an incredible miracle to provide what those people needed. Take a look. Stories of the Bible. Jesus feeds the 5,000. This is Jesus. hey -o! who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. A huge crowd kept following him wherever he went because they saw his miraculous signs as he healed the sick. A crowd started to gather around Jesus. There were 5,000 men and many more women and children. Turning to Philip, he asked, Hey, Philip! Where can we buy bread to feed all these people? You see, Jesus was testing Philip, for he already knew what he was going to do. Um. Philip replied, Even if we worked for months, we wouldn't have enough money to feed them. You know, I got an idea. Then Andrew spoke up, There's a young boy here with five barley loaves and two fish. But what good is that with this huge crowd? Jesus said, Tell everyone to sit down. Then Jesus took the loaves, gave thanks to God, and gave them to the people. Here you go. Afterward, he did the same with the fish, and they all ate as much as they wanted. Want some more? I'm all good, thanks. After everyone was full, Jesus told his disciples, Now gather the leftovers, so that nothing is wasted. Here you go. So they picked up the pieces and filled 12 baskets with scraps, left by the people who had eaten from the five barley loaves and two fish. Whoa, that really happened? Yes. John, one of Jesus' disciples, tells us that true story in John chapter 6 in the Bible. But why would Jesus go through all the trouble of feeding more than 5,000 people who had followed him? Because Jesus is compassionate. 
Jesus loved every single one of those people who were there, and he knew that they had needs. Sure, they'd come to be healed or see Jesus perform miracles, but they were also hungry. So he took action to help them, and not only did he heal the people, but he knew exactly how he was going to feed them as well. Jesus also used this moment as a test for his disciples. He asked Philip where to buy bread to feed the enormous crowd. Philip said it would take too much money for everyone to have even a single bite. Another disciple, Andrew, knew there was a boy who had a meal of five loaves and two fish. But Andrew was curious as to how they would feed so many people with that little food. It seems like the disciples were forgetting that if Jesus has a power to make blind people see or paralyzed people walk, then he can feed thousands of people. The compassion Jesus has to heal the people is the same compassion he has to provide for their other needs, like having enough food. And at that part in the true story, we see Jesus do an incredible miracle. I'll go ahead and read it straight from God's word. Then Jesus took the loaves, gave thanks to God, and distributed them to the people. Afterward, he did the same with the fish, and they all ate as much as they wanted. After everyone was full, Jesus told his disciples, Now gather the leftovers so that nothing is wasted. So they picked up the pieces and filled twelve baskets with scraps left by the people who had eaten from the five barley loaves. John six eleven through 13 That is awesome! They didn't stop handing out fish and bread until everyone had as much as they wanted. And there were enough leftovers to fill 12 baskets. Jesus had taken five loaves and two fish and miraculously multiplied that food to feed well over 5,000 people. And they still had plenty left over. Jesus had compassion on the people and he provided more than enough for them because he loved them. The fact that Jesus is compassionate is made super clear in today's true Bible story, in the healing he did, and in the way he provided food for everyone. Jesus is compassionate. Jesus loves us too. So does he also show us compassion? Yes. But of course, that does not mean that everyone will get exactly the same thing at the same time or that we will get everything we think we want. There will be times when life will still be hard. I mean, even today you might feel like you need God to provide healing, comfort, or strength in your life. Know that whatever you're going through, Jesus has compassion for you. He knows how you're feeling. He cares about what's going on. When we follow Jesus' example and show compassion to others, they get to experience God's compassion through us. His love and compassion doesn't just change our lives, it changes the lives of others too. So, if you see someone in need and want to help them, pray and ask God what you should do, and then find an adult you trust that can help you show compassion to that person. The more of us who show compassion to others, the more other people will get to experience God's love. So remember that Jesus is compassionate and go and be like Jesus by showing compassion to others. All right, bye guys.